The last time I met John Brooks back in August, he was with the rest of the charlatans, rehearsing for their performance at V Festival. What's happened since to the drummer who lives in Burntwood in Staffordshire has changed his life forever. All of a sudden there were these strange kind of lights in the corner of my eyes, and I thought, well, that's not... That's unusual. And what it was, that was obviously the, uh, the, the start of the seizure. So uh, I, uh, I just really kind of went from that situation to having a fit. <laughs> and that's where, that's, where I kinda, that's where my memory kind of stops, really. John's already had an operation to remove the brain tumour. And when we met again at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham today, he'd just undergone the latest batch of his radiotherapy treatment. I'm doing OK, thank you. I'm uh, at the start of a, uh, a long road of uh, treatment for my, uh, for my cancer, but uh, I'm feeling fit, positive, and I'm in, I'm in good hands. John's never seen any footage from the night he collapsed on stage, so in one of BBC Midlands Today's edit suites this afternoon, we showed him that gig. I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of it, really. It must be weird to sort of look on something that actually you obviously did. And yeah, well, I mean, in, in like an hour from now, I'm in, a, I'm in an ambulance going across Philadelphia, you know what I mean? Having, having a fit. It's bizarre to think that that's happened to you, you know. Tomorrow night, the charlatans will play the final night of their UK tour in front of a sellout crowd at the Yo2 Academy in Birmingham. For the encore, John will rejoin the band on stage and play live for the first time since he was diagnosed with cancer. A bit nervous, but I think it'll be just nice to kind of, you know, just get back on the kit and start to get back to normal. John's hoping his story may give inspiration to other people with cancer. I mean, there's some very sick people come into these kind of hospitals. This is a place where you people have got cancer and it's a very serious illness, but it's treatable and the majority of people walk out of here fit and well because these amazing people are prepared to, 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 to give them the best care possible. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.